we're all still stuck in the screen, yeah, you know? Yeah. And that's the thing is like, you guys, this isn't the screen anymore. The screen goes away. Like this. What outside? Get the Rymar reaction. Get the Rymar reaction. Oh, it's dude, totally different wild. when you're inside of it, right? Yeah, this is wild. <laughs> Straight up, you can slice right through, right? And you can, then you can look into the stomach. So go all the way to the left corner with it. All right, now go move, walk forward, stick your head inside the stomach. <laughs> oh my god. We got an invitation to come check out the public unveiling of BioLucid's U. It's an interactive 3D platform that is changing the way we visualize and understand the human body. A little bit about the future of virtual reality and where we see this going and how our platform will uh, impact um, folks. Uh, over time in the virtual reality space, so thank you. My name is Lawrence Key, the CEO at BioLucid. We're celebrating a first release of a product called U. Uh, U is about making health visual and really having an impact across uh, multiple segments in healthcare from education, pharma, and healthcare systems. The software is accessible through a number of different platforms, but we were mostly interested in learning more about what they were doing with virtual reality. By mapping parts of the body in three dimensions, U allows the user to explore different parts of the body with unparalleled detail. I'm Jeff Hazelton, co-founder and CTO of BioLucid. What am I seeing on the screen here, Jeff? Well, you're seeing what I'm seeing. But you're but seeing you're, it. But you're inside of it, huh? You're seeing it on a 2D monitor. I'm actually inside of it. So you're just seeing a little sliver of what I'm seeing. Yeah. Without the the head motion and the, the tracking of these, uh, and basically my hands, so I can, I can point to things and use my little laser pointer. In the 90s, VR was promised to us all. Like, it was like, oh, this is going to change the world. The virtual reality, computer animation, you know, it's all the beginnings of all of these things. But we did not have the hardware, we did not have the technology available to us to be able to do these sorts of things. It's not it. No, the box is getting you know broken now. We're gonna we're gonna be outside the box, creating how do we interact with the physical virtual world, and that's that's really what it comes down to. Let's imagine that I'm you're a you're a patient. I'm a physician, and I'm trying to describe to you how your heart functions. Okay. This is all by navigating. This north, is using south, east, our west. pad. I can navigate. I can turn the blood flow off, and I can show you all the valves in the heart. I'm Dale Park, I'm the Chief Scientific Officer for BioLucid. That is my job, is to make sure that we're medically accurate, so I'm the science guy. That's really the heart and soul of what we do, is we combine art and medicine, and we do it in a very creative way. We're quickly approaching a point where our digital environments will be indistinguishable from our external realities. It's hard to imagine a world where humans live inside of their computers, but after an experience like this, I can see how that future might be closer than we all think. That might just be the coolest thing I've ever experienced in my life. Like I was just inside of a stomach, inside of a heart. <sighs> Mind blown. Yeah, you just, you stay inside of there until we say cut, okay? You just stay inside there playing around until we say cut. You're not allowed to come out. You're in, you're in 3D jail. <laughs> Alright, let's go again.